Walter Gray. How are you today? I hope you are happy and fine. Well, today is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's Tuesday, the 15th of September. And what's the weather like today? Is it cloudy, rainy, windy, stormy? Tuesday. Yes. Sorry, cloudy. Cloudy, yes. And hot or cold? Cold. Cold, yes. Okay. Well, in the first part of the class, vamos a chequear. We are going to check pages 28, 30, 31, and 32. Acordate que hoy me tenés que entregar la composition number three, que era un paragraph de una persona que admirabas, yes? Y el brainstorming de brown eyes de la 1 hasta la 4. Hasta ahora, ¿qué sabemos de esa historia? Hablando. The main characters, personajes principales, Mr. and... He reads, okay. And where uh, did they go? They went to the... Hotel Vista. The, to the Hotel Vista, yes. And where is the Hotel Vista? In Leon C. In Leon C, yes, okay. So we suppose that this hotel is near the sea. Yes, okay. And then they... They um, talk. They talked. They talked. And about what? Um, when? When they meet. When they? Met. When they met. Acá aparecen, ¿qué cosa? Yes. Verbo en pasado. Yeah. They talked about when they met. Yes. And they went to, they went to the reception and they talked. Okay. We, and how, uh, when did they meet? 20, when did they meet? 12 years ago? 14 years ago? 13 years ago? 13 years ago. 13 years ago. So, uh, this is brown eyes, okay? Two main characters, Mrs. Reed and Mr. Reed. Yes, they went to uh, the Hotel Vista in Leon C. We suppose that this hotel is near the sea. Yes, then they went to the reception of the hotel and they talked about when they met for the first time, 13 years ago. Dice que se encontraron hace 13 años atrás, ¿ok? Entonces, esto es lo que pasa en este brainstorming desde la página 1 a la 4. Is it clear? Right. Ok. Right, right, right. Well, so pay attention now. Let's go to the correction. Después vamos a hacer esquematization 2. Vamos a esquematizar el presente simple otra vez pero con las W question. ¿Cuáles son? What, who, where, when, what time. ¿Is it clear? Yes. Ok. So there we are. Vamos a trabajar en las páginas 51, 52, 53, 50 y 4. Ok. 51, 52, 53 and 54. Así que puedes poner la fecha. Yes. With the date in all the pages. 51, 52, 53 and 54. ¿Tenéis preparado el sílabus a mano? ¿Yes? ¿Por qué? Porque en el sílabus vamos a marcar con el highlighter. ¿Yes? Con el highlighter. Vamos a marcar. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Luego, ahora vamos a precalentar el tema. Vamos a marcar lo que vamos a practicar. ¿Sí? Okay. Vamos a marcar. Ok, vamos a marcar ahora en el sílabo. Ok. A partir del 9. ¿Vieron que todos tienen numerito? Yes, numeritos, numbers. 9, on más days, at más time, plus time. Yes, todo eso. Después, desde el 10. Yes. Hasta el K14. ¿Está? Yes or no? Yes. Ok. Todo eso, todo, 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 todo. Ok. How often también, el 12 también. Yes. Hasta el 15. Yes. Ok. You say in the morning, in the afternoon. In the afternoon at, at night. Is it clear? Yes, hasta ahí. Y vamos a poner muy bien 
en la fecha con un bolígrafo, una fibra. Bien, ok. 15 del 9. Ok. ¿Es it clear? Así. Te tiene que quedar así, ¿ves? A partir de la W question. On, perdón. Así. Le marcas con una llave que todos esos tópicos vamos a estar practicando. Vamos a esquematizar. When do you use present perfect? ¿Cuándo usas present perfect? Present simple. For things we are doing now. Atención. For routine o for uh, things we did in the past. Um, present simple. Yes, ok. Things we are doing now, routine or things in the past? Routine. Things we are doing now, routine or things in the past? Routine. Routine, well done. Ok. Marcado una vez, esta, acuérdate que siempre que hacemos esquematización, vamos a highlight, with the highlighter. ¿En dónde? En el syllabus. ¿Está claro? Yes, ok. Y vamos a poner qué cosa? La fecha. Yes, the date. Después precalentamos los temas. Una vez que están calentitos para punto a punto de arrancar, arrancamos con las pages. ¿Es clear? Right. Corrección de homework. Put a tick if it is okay. A cross if it is wrong. Yes? Okay. Page 28. Acá borro porque todas estas son las que ya están entregadas. Toda esta parte tiene que estar entregada. Ok. One. Put a tick or a cross. Yo voy a ir rápido. ¿eh? Ok. 28. 28. Ok. Y eso no. Yes. We have got. Y todas las personas tienen que estar marcadas con, ¿qué? Con resaltador para saber, para que vos identifiques, ¿yes? Si es he or she, que es la técnica que siempre te doy. ¿Es it clear? Right. Ready. Steady. Go. Well done. We have got good jobs. Put a tick. She has got a new boyfriend. I have got a new bike. Miss Barlow has got blue eyes. They have got a lot of work today. You have got a lot of records. That hasn't got sunglasses. Hasn't porque dice negativo. I have got a large dog. The envelope es el sobre. Has got the wrong address. ¿Por qué voy a poner has got? Porque el sobre vendría a ser it. Okay. We have got time. We haven't got time for you now. 11. 11. Your friends have got all the luck. You have got long hair. Bob has got a flag in the seafront. At the seafront. Ah, the seaside también puede ser. Uh, this house has got one bedroom. You haven't got a lot of new books. They have got three children. They, she hasn't got new shoes. I have got no time for you now. We have got strict teachers. He hasn't got a large garden. Joe has got a lot of friends. Alice has got a flat on the second floor. I haven't got brown eyes. 29, no, 30. ¿Ok? How you got? También tiene que estar todo así highlighted. ¿Yes? ¿Para qué? Para que vos sepas si te vas a poner yes I have, no I haven't, yes she has, no she hasn't, yes they have, no they haven't. Have you got a favorite singer? Yes I have, o no I haven't. Has your teacher got a pencil? Acuérdate que siempre va a ser yes she has, no she hasn't. ¿Yes? Have, have your friends got? Yes they have, no they haven't. Has your teacher got a yellow bike? Yes, she has. No, she hasn't. Have your parents got? Yes, they have. No, they haven't. Has your brother got? Yes, he has. No, he hasn't. Has your teacher got a computer? Yes, she has. No, she hasn't. Have your friends got a cell phone? Yes, they have. No, they haven't. Has your cousin got a PlayStation? Yes, she has. No, she hasn't. Have you got a bulldog? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Have you got a brother and a sister? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Has your, friend, has your friend got a new skateboard? Yes, he has. No, he hasn't. Has your father got a new black pen? Yes, he has. No, he hasn't. Has your friend got two friends? Yes, he has. No, he hasn't. Has your teacher got a house in Miami? Yes, she has. No, she hasn't. Have you got a ticket to Bariloche? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Has your teacher got a family in Paraguay? Yes, she has. No, she hasn't. Has your dog got a big house? Yes, it has. No, it hasn't. Have you got a black cat? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Have you got a partner? Has your partner got a black pencil case? Partner is tu compañero. 
Yes, he has. No, he hasn't. Has your partner got a class book in the activity book? Yes, he has. And the activity book? Yes, he has. No, he hasn't. 32. Okay. Correct the mistakes. Bueno, quedó una arriba. Has your partner got a class book in the under the la misma, no? Yes. Yes, he has. No, he hasn't. Correct the mistake. Mary and Susan and Susan have got a house in Miami. Jack hasn't got or has got, yes, a pet in his flat. Yes, ahí podía poner, pero siempre y cuando corrija que es has. I have got a bulldog. They are very dangerous dogs. Esa está bien, no tiene error. My parents haven't got, my parents haven't got. ¿Me siguen? Yes. Number five. Has Isabella got a pink dress? Six. Ma Jack hasn't got. Seven. Ha a ver un poco, ¿qué dice? Has your friend got? Yes. Has your friend got? Has your mother got? Have you got a new PlayStation? Mary and Susan haven't got. ¿Está? Vamos al multiple choice, que había que redondear y responder. Circle and answer. Yes, okay. Have you got? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Has he got? Yes, he has. No, he hasn't. Three. Has Susan got? Yes, she has. No, she hasn't. Four. Has your brother got? Yes, he has. No, he hasn't. Has your mother got? Yes, she has. No, she hasn't. Has your teacher got? Yes, she has. No, she hasn't. Have they got? Yes, they have. No, they haven't. Have your parents, partners got? Yes, they have. No, they haven't. Have we got? Yes, we have. No, we haven't. We haven't got 32, 32. We haven't got good jobs. Have we got good jobs? She hasn't got a new boyfriend. Has she got a new boyfriend? I said negative and interrogative. I haven't got a new bike. Have you got a new bike? Miss Barlow hasn't got blue eyes. Yes, y en la original estaba mal porque decía Miss Barlow have got. Así que corríjanle, por favor. Ya se le habrán dado cuenta. Así que corríjanlo. Un errorcito ahí. Has Mr. Barlow got blue eyes? They haven't got a lot of work today. Have they got a lot of work today? You haven't got a lot of records. Have you got a lot of records? Bye bye. Terminado la correction. So let's go to um, the charts there. Okay, Aldana, can you come here, please? Good. So we are going to make questions and answer. Yes. Okay. Voy a borrar esto. Yes. Okay, I will clean this. Okay. Y esto también. En todo caso lo copiamos después. Okay. Y and this two. Okay. Well, ¿qué vamos a practicar aquí hoy? Today and now. Yes. Hello, Aldana. Hello. Okay. So pay attention now. Tenemos who. Repetition. Who. Where. Where. How often. How often. When. What time? What yes, time? acordate, how often, no how often, eh? Ok, vamos a practicar el presente simple, pero vamos a prestar atención a estas cosas. W, w auxiliar, auxiliar, sujeto, sujeto. ¿cuáles serían los W acá? What, when, where, when, 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 what time, Yes, how often? Okay, how often do you go to school? I go to school every day. I usually go to school. Cada vez que a mí me preguntan how often, yo voy a responder, I usually go to school, I never go to school. Yes, what time do you go to school? I go to school at 7 o'clock. When do you go to school? I go to school from Monday to Friday. Where do you study? I study in the living room. What do you do every day? I cook every day. I study.
have every day. ¿Sí? Y cuando preguntamos con who, ¿cómo estamos? En present simple, ¿cuándo usamos present simple for things we are doing now or for routine? Um, for things we are doing. For things we are doing now or routine? Routine. Ok, no lo tengo que dudar más, ¿eh? Routine. Y things we are doing now es el presente continuo. Routine. When do we use present simple for things we are doing now or routine? Routine. Routine, ok. Recordar la estructura. Sujet, who más el verbo con ese. Who cleans the house every, the house every day? My mother. Yes, who cooks every day? My mother cooks the house. Who cooks every day? My mother cooks every day. My mother cooks. I don't cook every day. No, I clean every day. Who cooks My every day? Your father cooks every day. Who plays with the scooter every day? My sister plays with the scooter. Okay, well done. So, is it clear? Well, so, teniendo en cuenta esta estructura, yes, taking into account, vamos a ir a este cuadro, okay? Vamos a precalentar lo que vamos a... A ver, ahí, está perfecto, okay? Is it clear? Right. We are going to start, Aldana. Yes? Who goes to the park every day? Who goes to the cinema every day? Who goes to the disco every day? Dale. Ready, steady? Go. Go. Come on, who? Who goes? Who goes to the park every day? My friends and I. Who goes to the cinema every day? My mom and my Go or goes? Who goes to the disco every weekend? Uh, my parents. My who parents. goes? Wait. Who goes to the restaurant every day? My family and I. Who goes to the supermarket on Sunday? My dad. Okay. How often? Yes. Okay. Atención. How often? W. Más auxiliar. Más sujeto, más verbo. Sin ese porque ya está la auxiliar das. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? Ready, steady, go. Yo comienzo. Atención, ¿eh? Yes. How often do you go to the park? Usually. I usually go to the park. Yes. Contéstame en frase, please. I usually go to the park. Ok. How often? Your question. How often do you... Often or often? How often do you go... Often, no often. Often. How often do you go to the city? I never go to the cinema. Your question. How often? How often do you go to the Often, Alana. Often. How often do you go to the disco? I sometimes go to the disco. How often do you go to the restaurant? I go. I always go to the restaurant. No, that's donde va el always. I always go to the restaurant. I never go to the cinema. Después del sujeto, yes? Okay. How often do you go to the supermarket? I often go to the supermarket. Repeat, please. I often. Yes. Go Esta T no suena. Often. Often. I often go to the cinema. Okay. Ya seguimos con WH, pero ahora vamos con when. Yes. Yes, okay. Ready, steady, go. When do you go to the park? I. Notas esto on más los días. I go to the park. Más las horas. On okay. Sunday. Okay. No, todavía no estamos en nada. On Sunday. Okay. Your question, when? When do you go to the cinema? I go to the cinema on Friday. When do you go to the disco? I go to the disco on Saturdays. Okay. When? Your question. When do you go to the restaurant? I go to the restaurant on Thursday. My question, when do you go to the supermarket? I go to the supermarket on Monday. Okay, what time? W, auxiliar, sujeto y verbo. What time do you go to the park? I go to the park at... At y la hora. Muy bien. Nine. Okay. Your question, what time? What time do you go to the cinema? I go to the cinema at 6. What time do you go to the disco? I go to the disco at quarter to 1. ¿Qué tal? Vos, come on. What time do you go to the restaurant? I go to the restaurant at quarter past 10. What time do you go to the supermarket? I go to the supermarket at um, 
Three o'clock. Okay, supermarket. Okay. Well, so you are ready. We are going to um, go to the pages now, and we are going to check pages. Siempre vamos a hacer. Lo que te voy a pedir, yes, es que te pongas el tiempo que yo te voy a dar. Yes, okay. Ahora, pon, los, pon las pages, okay? Good. Porque yo no voy a hacer el tiempo real que vos estás haciendo. Voy a mostrar las pages. Vos vas a pausar el video. Yes. Pause the video. Vas a hacer la página. Yes. Is it clear? All right. Good. So, uh, this is third grade. Ponemos de nuevo para saber que estamos aquí. Third grade. Vamos a today. Tenemos las pages, ponen las páginas. Ahora sí, ya practicamos. El mismo cuadrito lo practicas en casa otra vez vos. ¿Está? ¿Es clear? Right? Good. Come on. Pages uh, 51, pages 52, 53, and page 54. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? De tarea queda la 33, la 34, la 35 y la 36. ¿Yes? Más la composición número 4 de la lista. ¿Te explico lo que va a ser la composición número 4? Composición número 4. Ok. Write a description of your favorite part of the house. Aldana, what's your favorite part of your house? The bedroom, the bathroom, the living room. Um, your bedroom. The living room. The living room. Ok. So, my favorite part of the house, te doy un ejemplo, is the living room. Eso es lo que tienes que escribir para la próxima clase. Una descripción de tu living room, de tu, de tu, de tu parte favorita. My favorite part of the house is my living room. Yes? I have got a medium living room. Uh, it is an, a boring living room. Yes? Ok. I have got uh, a lamp on a table. There is a lamp on a table. There is a toilet next to the living room. Uh, I don't live in a flat. I live in a house. I have got a computer. There is a computer on a table next to the window. Para ir usando las palabritas. My living room is very special because I spend time, yes, in the living room playing and watching films. Okay, ¿está? ¿Cuántas palabras va a tener esta descripción? 80 words. Yes, perdón. 70 words. 70 words. ¿Está claro? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. yes? Ok. Eso sería la descripción de tu fa, de tu living room. Ok. Yes or no? Yes. Ok. Ok. Siempre, ahora te agrego en la foto pizarra la cantidad de palabras que tiene que tener. Ok. Good. Bueno, vamos. Uh, 51. 51. 51. ¿Estás en la 51, Aldana? Yes. Read the statement, please. ¿Qué tenemos que hacer ahí? Turn the following sentences into negative and into the negative. Perfecto. Y tenemos qué cosa que tiene que estar subrayada ahí. Con el highlighter. La estructura. Da. Do you get up at 7 o'clock in the morning? Yes, I do. Oh, no, I don't. Aldana, does your mother clean the house in the morning? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Yes, she does? No, she doesn't. Okay. Do your parents go to school? Do your parents go to the park in the afternoon? Yes, they do? No, they don't. Okay. Entonces, ahí tenés. La estructura tiene que estar marcada para que vos pases. Sara... Goes to school by bus on Monday. Sara doesn't go to school by bus on Monday. Does Sara go to school by bus on Monday? Y así toda la página 51. Y así toda la página 52. ¿Está? Yes or no? Yes, teacher? Eso te va a llevar, ya te digo cuántos minutos te va a llevar la página 52. Y 51 y 52. Aquí, perdón, 20 minutos. ¿Te cronometras? 20 minutos. Y para la página 53 y 54. Mm, 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 53 and 54. 10 minutos, 10 minutos otra vez. ¿Ok? 
Acá hay 20 minutos más, ¿ok? En total 40 minutos todas las pedidas, ¿ok? ¿Es it clear? Bueno, después vamos a ir a la página 53. ¿Qué dice la página 53? Ya te digo, dice, answer the following question. Y vas a marcar todos los auxiliares para que vos te des cuenta con qué tenés que corre, eh, responder. Si dice, does your mother, Alana, yes, she does, si dice, eh, do, you, do you? Yes, I? No, no, I don't. Ok. Si dice, do your parents? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Ok. Esa va a ser la página 53. Y ojo, en la página 54 te toca hacer las preguntas a vos. Yes, ok. You have to make the question. Te vas a escribir esta estructura ahí. Auxiliar, sujeto, verbo, en infinitivo más complemento, sin S. Por ejemplo, does she play? Does your mother play? Yo te doy el verbo que tenés que poner acá, ¿ves? Play. Yes. Do your parents dance? No, they don't. Does your brother cook? Do you, ride, do you drive a car? Do they dance? ¿Está? Yes or no? Ok. Vas a hacer ahora eso. Yes. Ahora viene la parte que vos parás el video. Now is the time that you post the video. Do the activities and then listen to the answers. Ok. Ahora yo voy a corregir las páginas que tengo que hacer autocorrección. ¿Sí? Ok. La 34 te queda de tarea. ¿Sí? 34. Yes, 33, 34, 33, ¿sí? Otra vez con have got, afirmativa y negativa. Acordate que para he, usamos has o have. La 35 también, hay un parrafito que hay que leer, read the paragraph. Yes, read and complete sobre el párrafo, ¿sí? Después, otra vez, la, hasta la 36, have o has. ¿Está? Yes o no? Yes? Ok, yes. good. Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Ahora tu video tiene que estar pausado, haces estas páginas y después escuchas las correcciones. Yes? Do the activities and then listen to the answers. Ok? Alana, vamos a la 51. Ok. Sara, estoy en la 51. Yes? Ready? Yes. Sara doesn't go to school by bus. Does Sara go to school by bus? On Tuesday and Monday. Yes? Yes. Number two. Paul and Jack don't always. Fíjate dónde va ese don't always. Tiene que estar ese always después del negativo. I don't always go. I don't usually. Yes. Do Paul and Jack always walk? Y sigue el otro. My parents don't go shopping. Do your parents go shopping every weekend? Cuatro. Mary doesn't read romantic, doesn't write, perdón. Ese write, ¿cómo va a ir? ¿Con ese o sin ese? Sin ese. Porque está el doesn't. Does Mary write romantic poem on holidays? Polly and Mary don't sometimes, don't sometimes, corrijan por favor, porque el, mejor, el error siempre que hacemos es que exactamente, que ponemos mal, ¿está? Yes, ese, ese eh, adverbio. Do Polly and Mary sometimes travel? Sally don't have English and volleyball on. Does Sally have English and volleyball on? Todo lo que sigue. Vamos a las 52, ¿yes? Mary doesn't look after her sister at night. Does Mary look after her sister at night? My family doesn't live in the USA. Does your family live in the USA with your cousins? Snuev. Joe and Billy, Joe, Polly and Natty don't buy a house in Spain. Polly, a ver, Joe, Polly and Natty buy a house in Spain. Yes, okay. Esta... Sáquenla esta frase porque no está bien. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? 
no les va a coordinar después. Para hacer la práctica sí, pero no es correcta. Está tachenla nomás, porque queda mejor en otro tiempo. Leo doesn't always have math and geography at school on Thursday. Does Leo always have? ¿Te diste cuenta que va a have? ¿O pusiste has? No, have. Muy bien, porque tal das. Y el verbo tiene que ir en infinitivo. Ok. Root sometimes, doesn't sometimes, root doesn't sometimes go to the gym. Does root sometimes go to the gym? Siempre el verbo sin ese porque está el das. Leo. Esta, esta está repetida. Muy bien. bien, está repetida. Molly doesn't want to buy a house in Miami. Does Molly want to buy a house in Miami? Y ese want sin ese porque está el das. Cada vez que está el das, el verbo tiene que ir normal. One. No, she doesn't. Two. No, he doesn't. Or yes, he does. Three. Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Four, yes he does, no he doesn't, o she también, porque casi no es primo o prima. Uh, five, yes she does, no she doesn't. Yes I do, no I don't. Seven, yes she does, no she doesn't. Eight, yes I do, no I don't. Nine, yes he does, no he doesn't. Ten, yes he does, no he doesn't. Eleven, yes she does, no she doesn't. Twelve, yes she does, no she doesn't. 13. Yes, I do. No, I don't. 14. Yes, I do. No, I don't. 15. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. 16. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. 17. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Porque dice your parents. ¿Está? Yes. 18. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. 19. Yes, they do. No, they don't. 20. Yes, they do. No, they don't. 21. Dice, you and your brother, ojo ahí, ¿eh? Yes, we do, no, we don't, porque te dice, te incluye a vos. ¿Está? ¿La 21? Yes. Ok. Do you? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Does your mother? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Do you and your friend? Yes, we do. No, we don't. Cada vez que vos estés incluido, va a ser yes, we. Sí, nosotros hacemos eso. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Yes. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Vamos por último a la 54. Does she play? Yes, she does. Do they dance? Yes, they do. Does your brother cook? Yes, he does. Do you drive a car? No, I don't. Do your mother and your father dance? Yes, they do. Do your mother and your father climb a mountain? Does your sister have lunch? Do your parents write Poems? Do you study? Do you sleep? Does your mother get up at 7 o'clock in the morning? Do your friends visit other friends? Yes. Or do uh, your parents visit their friends? Do your grandparents visit friends on quarantine? Yes. <laughs> okay. Do they study French? Do you watch TV? Does uh, your sister see films? Does your brother play football? Do your parents write in the computer? Y ahí termino. Explico, la, bueno, la 30, ya expliqué la tarea, ya expliqué... Eh, ah, la composición número 4, que debe tener 70 words. Study the verbs, estudiar la lista de verbos. Repetition, yes, ok. Porque es muy necesaria para comunicarnos con los tiempos verbales, ok. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye bye. See you next class. Have a nice afternoon.